in biochemistry and math, and chair of the Iowa Federation of College Republicans. The most important election of our lifetime is now less than a year away. We have seen the consequences of electing politicians who lack experience and leadership. To return America back to prosperity, we need a leader who has experience implementing bold solutions. We need a leader who has shown they know how to create jobs. That leader is Newt Gingrich. Under Gingrich's leadership as Speaker, Congress passed the first balanced budget in the generation. In four years, Gingrich oversaw the creation of a stable economic environment that created 11 million jobs, while reforming welfare programs, restoring funding to strengthen our defense capabilities, expanding NIH research programs, and repaying over $400 billion to the federal debt. Time Magazine may have said it best. Leaders make things possible. Exceptional leaders make them inevitable. Newt Gingrich belongs in the category of the exceptional. I'm extremely privileged to introduce to all of you the former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. helping us here. Uh, she would be delighted to talk with any of you later on about helping as we uh, come up to the process. Uh, I want to start by, by drawing two distinctions. First, I Mike know... Check. Mike, Mike Check! Mike Check! Mike Check! Mr. Gingrich, we are here to protest your speech today. Mr. Gingrich, we are here to protest your speech today. Position we're going to face 
we need to recognize that the election is the beginning of the change, the election is at the end of the process, and so I ask people to be with me for eight years so that we can actually get the kind of change that we need in this country. And I appreciate the fact that 95% of you, maybe even 99%, <laughs> who try to oppose their will by making the You're the one who said. So, in that framework, I really wanted to come here today to make a different kind of speech, to try to establish a very new and different area of political discussion. Because I've been very struck that we keep trying to solve the entitlement problems and the health care problem without looking problem. at the underlying drivers of those costs. And so what I want to come today and talk about, which I think is maybe the first time any presidential candidate has ever talked about brain science. But it is an area that's really, really important. I'm going to explain why for a couple minutes, and then I will be glad to take questions. Uh, and and uh, because I believe in participation, uh, even if sometimes it's like people who are around it. It's part of the nature of freedom. So let me talk briefly about brain science. For three years...